This is a Stegosaurus. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a Diplodocus. And do you know what it is? Huh? Hmm. We don't know. Why have we never seen one? Dinosaurs oh. went extinct 66 million years ago. Do you want to know what happened to them? <laughs> Let knowledge play! Long ago, dinosaurs lived all over the earth. Some were big, some were small. They walked around, hunted, or ate plants in the world full of trees, volcanoes, and big oceans. But then, something terrible happened. A giant asteroid from space crashed into the Earth. A big rock from space hit the Earth and made lots of dust that covered the sky. It caused earthquakes, giant waves, and volcanoes to erupt. Everything changed suddenly. With the sun blocked, plants couldn't grow. Without plants, the plant-eating dinosaur had no food. Then, the meat-eating dinosaurs didn't have food either, so they disappeared too. But not all of them disappeared. Scientists believe some small dinosaurs that survived change over time and become the birds you see today. Birds are actually relatives of dinosaurs? You can say that. <laughs> That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Dinosaurs in the city. They already went extinct. Hmm. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if dinosaur never went extinct? Let knowledge click. 66 million years ago, dinosaur ruled the earth. Until a meteor struck the earth and wiped them out. Now imagine if the meteor had never hit the Earth. Oh, no! So, what would happen if dinosaur and humans coexisted? It wouldn't be easy for the dinosaurs because despite of their small size, humans have the ability to hunt animals many times bigger than themselves. Based on the intelligence of some dinosaur species, we might even be able to tame them to help with human life. For example, raising them for meat and egg, in farming, or even communicating. We could even keep a dinosaur as a pet, right? Mm. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Another theory suggests that if dinosaur hasn't gone extinct, humans might not exist today. The asteroid hadn't hit, the world could have turned out very differently. Wow! <laughs> wow! Look! Smoke is coming out of the mountain! Is someone having a barbecue inside? Mm. Oh. It's not a barbecue, dear. That's a volcano! <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. Deep inside our Earth, it is very hot. It's so hot that it melts the rocks inside. The melted rocks are called magma. When the magma comes up and flows out of the volcano, we call it lava. Wow! 
is it like when boiling water spills over? That's right. <laughs> How hot could the lava be, Dr. Who? Uh. It's even hotter than your mom's pizza oven. Mm. It can burn everything on its way. We can just use water to put it off. That wouldn't work, kids. There are thousands of underwater volcanoes deep in the ocean that are still active. Oh no! Do the fish get burned? In some places near underwater volcanoes, the water gets so hot it changes color. But some super special creatures can still live there. Volcanoes are amazing, but they can also be very dangerous if we don't know how to stay safe. So remember these important rules, kids. If you hear a volcano warning on the radio or TV, get your emergency bag ready. Pack clothes, food, water, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and anything important. Quickly leave the danger zone, just like the grown-ups tell you. And wear a mask so you don't breathe in the volcano dust. Once you're in a safe place, just stay calm and wait until it's safe again. We got it! <laughs> Kids, do you know why giraffes have such long neck? Let knowledge click! Mm. First, we need to know where giraffes wow. live. Oh. Wow. Giraffes live in a glassland and open woodlands of Africa, where there are lots of tall trees like acacia trees. A famous theory says that giraffes long ago didn't have long necks like they do today. Animals that were shorter could only eat low leaves, so they had to compete for food. Giraffes had to stretch their necks to reach higher leaves over many generations. Their necks slowly got longer until they became the giraffes we see today. The giraffe's long neck is also linked to a fun behavior called necking. Necking is when the male giraffes Use the long necks to strike each other to assert their dominance. They swing their necks at each other until one gives up. So having a longer, thicker neck means a better chance of winning. I got it! Do you know why bats sleep this way? Let knowledge click! Why most animals go to sleep at night? Bats come out to find food. And during the day, they sleep instead. Bats usually sleep in groups, huddled together in dark, quiet spots. But why do they have to sleep upside down like that, Professor Hoot? It's because their back legs are quite weak, so they can land on their feet like birds do. Also, bats can launch into the air from the ground, so sleeping this way lets them fly away instantly. This comes out handy in case of danger. Hanging up high also keeps them safe from other animals. And since they don't need to share perches with birds or other animals, they always have a spot to rest. 
But how can bats hang on so tightly without falling? Their muscles are designed so that the more oh. they relax, the tighter their claws hold on. <laughs> What are we going to do with it now? If a bath is in your house, don't touch it. Just open a window and let it fly out safely. I got it! Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.